Alhamdulillah the blessed month of Jumad Awwal and the birth of Sidna Zainab salam and Imam Zain al Abideen salam and the immensity of his dress and its lights that Allah bestow its secrets of its month inshaAllah upon our souls. The Jumad Awwal it's a, the power of nine times the fifth lunar month opens the reality of forty-five, four and the five. Forty-fifth name of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Shahir, the famous one. And Allah's ismullah the Zalwasi, the all-comprehending. Forty-fifth surah of Holy Qur'an, the dressing the holy month, Surat al-Jathiyah, the crouching, inshaAllah Ajit Shahid, let's read uh, Surah 45 verse 13 inshaAllah. وَسَقْرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا مِنْهُ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكْرُونَ Sadaqallahul Aliyyul Azeem Sadaqallahul Aliyyul Azeem Sadaqallahul Aliyyul Azeem Sadaqallahul Aliyyul Azeem Alhamdulillah that from these teachings in which we don't exist and negate ourselves from the beginning of this gate and that this Holy Qur'an is a guidance and a reality from Allah for Sayyidina Muhammad And this holy surah and this ayat al-kareem Allah is describing that, I have subjected to you Ya Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Mahmud wa Sayyidina Ahmad in the highest of the realities, all that is in the heavens and all that are upon the earths. It is all from Him, Minhu, and from the Who of Allah is declaring that it's from my Who, my essence that I'm granting you everything. I have subjected to you that is a, a sign of uh, authority. When Allah said, that I have subjected to you means you are the authority for all the mulk and malaku and anything that lies between them, jamiyan. Nayat al-Kareem Allah puts within a legal phrase, bi'ardi jamiyun minhum, that anything between them it's from me, from the heavens I have subjected, the earth I have subjected, all of them you are the authority from me. My essence is the one granting you this authority. And behold these are a sign indeed, so then Allah is warning us that meditate on this ayah, that to not pass it fast but to contemplate and meditate upon this because Allah said these are a sign indeed for those who yatafakkirun that reflect and contemplate. And that Allah is, is confirming that these are not the talks of pious people and their khatir and thoughts that are coming into their hearts but what they teach of an authority it is in the Qur'an. The Qur'an is the authority that directs every power and reality towards the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad That the tali in which Allah is dressing this Divinely Muhammadan light Subhana man huwa al-qayyimun la yanam. Glory be to him who is ever existing and maintaining and who does not sleep. Allah. 
the tajalli is confirm, confirming the ayah. When Allah is dressing, is a qadeem, it's an ancient dress of when Allah began to make. When we say, Inna Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi, Inna Allahi wa malaikatu yusalluna ala nabi. These are the understandings of the hijabs in which what praise was Allah's, Allah giving to Sayyidina Muhammad So amongst the oceans of understanding these are but just one. In this tajalli of 45 and in this tajalli of this hijab that is dressing eternally upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad from Allah Rabbul Izza wa Azamati wa Jabarood is dressing in this zikr of Allah Subhanahu wa huwa da'imul yanam that I'm dressing an eternal dress upon your soul in which your soul it does not sleep, your soul is ever vigilant because these ayat al kareem is not for the body. The ayat al kareem is for that which is eternal. That Allah although it commands the physical but the physical by its nature is perishing. So why would Allah direct His majesty and might only to that which is physical? So Allah's addressing is always to that which is eternal. And this is an eternal isharat that describing that I have subjected all creation for you. And that's why all the nats and, and the salawats and the duruds they're singing about that. Because only Allah were given this understanding from Holy Qur'an and that their soul rejoices in what Allah has given. I have subjected all of what is created in what you see which is we call the mulk and all that which you don't see of malakut all subjected to your authority, they're at your feet. Means that their kingdom and creation I gave as a gift. This is all a part of that creation that when I'm going to make you my king and that you are the king of the dunya, king of the heavens, what king has no kingdom? So Allah saying, no the greatness of your kingdom is all this creation. That shows how much I love your sultanate because the might of a king is to his kingdom. If a king has no kingdom they have like these kings on television that have an island of like 10 feet people, that's not a kingdom, that's a group of people. But when Allah want to show the might and majesty is that, no I have subjected all, all my heavens, all the manifest worlds and, and universes coming into existence. They are all under your command, subjected to your authority and alhamdulillah that Allah giving the dhikr of that soul and that tajalli for this month is that you are of an eternal nature. Glory be to Him who is ever existing and is the maintainer and who does not sleep. From Allah's reality is dressing a dress upon Sayyidina Muhammad Alhamdulillah that goes into that understanding that the ayat al kursi is the secret that is dressed from this month. Because the kursi and ayat al kursi is an ayat that describes Allah's authority upon all creation. And سَخَنْ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْمَا فِي الْعَرْضِ Being that Allah is, is giving for us an understanding that when we're entering into this kingdom through this fire and through this love, this Divinely portal of Allah's muhabbat and grace that we enter through that bush that's burning and Allah is, is granting for us to step into that reality, move into that. And then you're coming now into the manzil of Qur'an in Surat al Yaseen in which all Holy Qur'an is emanating from that heart and from that location. And Allah then, then gives for us like the moth to the flame 
everybody has a fire in, in their lives is a continuous fire that burns everything other than this ishq and this muhabbat and this good character. So our life is based on this burning is continuous. When will it be relieved? Oh, only when you enter into the qabr. And that burning is to make sure that nothing stays with on the person that would distract them from this ishq and from this love. And they begin to enter into that ocean and Allah as a result of entering now the tajalli of Jummah the awwal is then the authority. Allah is going to now describe the authority and the reality of the soul that you're entering and entering its proximity, I have subjected everything as an authority as under that kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad Means then it gives lie to Ayatul Kursi, which we can't go too much into it because it confuse people. But Allah describes in Ayatul Kursi that my throne encompasses and neither sleep and slumber overtaketh him. Because Allah by now the students should understand that these descriptions are not descriptions of Allah Allah is far beyond anything that can be comprehended. So Arifin they stopped that. At first level you come in and think, okay what is, what is the authority for Allah and all these different understandings. Once they're clear on the worshipness of Allah clear on the authority of Allah Marifah is that Allah wants to bring the servant into the kingdom. Now I want to see, I want you to see how this kingdom is run. Where you thought it was Allah but Allah said, it's not for my might and my majesty to get involved in these issues. Then why to create an authority? If I'm not going to give the authority any rights over that creation. So Arifin uh, means that Allah begin to explain within their hearts, within their soul that this kingdom is run by the light and the authority established into the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why Allah is drawing attention to those whom are in tafakkur and contemplation is then contemplate, سَخَرْ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ so then sit and say that, I have given all that authority and they begin to meditate and contemplate, Ya Rabbi, Ya Rabbi Izza, that you gave this authority to Sayyidina Muhammad so, hmm. So then every angel, who do they go to for their isharat, for their guidance? If Allah is saying, I gave the authority to him. To Sayyidina Muhammad It begins to direct us to the correct understanding of tawheed. That nothing can come to La ilaha illallah except Muhammadun Rasulullah And everything is below Muhammadun Rasulullah they don't go above Prophet to the presence of Allah That means every command the angels receive is from Sayyidina Muhammad Every Prophet that ever spoke to Allah they spoke through the prophecy of the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad Means everything. That's why Allah is saying, then ponder if I'm telling you I gave this authority and I've subjected this authority to this reality, then those whom ponder, they begin to ponder that every authority then is moving into the direction of Sayyidina Muhammad The angels must ask, the souls of Prophets must ask. Everything that coming into existence Allah brings it into existence at that moment and hands its authority to Sayyidina Muhammad 
Mm. Not a planet, not a universe, anything that comes into existence at that moment it's under the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad Jamian means he didn't bring one planet and say, okay this is not for you. It says anything that is coming into this existence at any moment and in every moment how many universes and galaxies are in existence coming into existence we have no understanding of Allah's time. But Allah is saying it's all under the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad uh, Every good and every bad, every virus which is harder to create. The universes are a microbe. Universes. Yeah. Microbe is this, they can make them in labs. Universes, I uh, don't think they can make it yet. Allah then is telling us that everything is under His authority. You better be good with Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why, that's why those other people they don't understand the Qur'an. They don't understand the authority that Allah has established in the Holy Qur'an. If they understood that and they understood the Sultanat and the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad then they would have understood the importance of durood al-sharif. That's why there is a durood and there is a salawat for every sickness and for every difficult, for every Everything that we need an authority on, there is a durood and sh there is a durood al-sharif for that reality. Because anything you want opened in this universe has to be through the door of Sayyidina Muhammad Any shifa and any healing that anyone wants, they can ask Allah all they want. Allah alhamdulillah is, is merciful. But Allah giving for arifeen that you are not a retarded person, you are now a person that your heart is opening. You know children in kindergarten they can play with their finger in the paint and they can paint the walls but they're in kindergarten. When Allah teaching rijal that you're not in kindergarten anymore and do you know that your souls are facing your king? As Salaamu Alaykum Ayyuha Nabi, you think when your souls are praying, where are they praying? Why Allah gave the authority of the adab of your salah was for your soul and not your body. That I want you to understand when you're making salah your soul is facing your king in rows. So when they see they see their salah in rows of souls and seated upon the throne of authority is the ruh and the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad And Allah gave the words for salah, As Salaamu Alaykum Ayyuhan Nabi at all times their souls are facing Sayyidina Muhammad and they must give their shahud, they must give their shahada through their soul to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad at all times. Because he's the authority There's not a single thing that can be happening in the heavens because go to the heavens where everything is real and then the physical world is just the imitation. That the salah is facing that reality but it is for Allah but it's facing, facing the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So then they understood that every power and every authority coming to them from Allah must be through the king and the, and the reality of the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad That's why then there's a durood sharif for every difficulty, for every opening, anything that we need to open in this world. And then the hereafter has to come under the authority of the Sultanate. Could anyone think that it would bypass all these realities of Sakhir Lakum ma fi samawati wa ma fi ard but on your request it went directly to Allah? 
That's why Allah is asking that nobody knows this except those whom yatafakkirun that they keep contemplating with their heart and they understood. And Allah is just saying, I give the authority. You know somebody can write a billion dollar check with a blink of an eye, you don't think he has five dollars to give you? So these petty things that people ask they're small, they're nothing in comparison, in comparison to the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad You ask anything you think in your life is important, it's like this. Yet what is it of importance in comparison to the authority of what Prophet is responsible for? That's why these duruds, these salawats, these are the opening of every difficulty. These are the establishments of the authority that the, when the rijal are mature enough and they understood that their king is in front of them and their king Allah describes through Ayatul Kursi. It's like a proclamation that they see within the heavens Ayatul Kursi is a description of this power. Shaydi Allahu innahu la ilaha illahu, Allah is, is giving witness to that power. قُلْهُ مَلَكُ الْمُرْكُ تُتُ مُلْكُ مَنْ تَشَاءُ وَتَنْزِرُ مُلْكُ مَنْ تَشَاءُ Allah again giving a proclamation to that power, these three ayat al kareem they are above that authority. They are the seal and the crest of the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad Everything then coming under that authority, then Allah said, open your eyes and see your reality. And then you see the sultanate of that reality and put your face at his feet, put your head at his feet from Allah And that any opening must come through that authority, any blessing must come through that authority, any rizq must come through that authority, any sickness must come through the authority and must be relieved through that authority. So it means that we have durood al-sharif for everything. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa Sayyidina Muhammad wa Qulubi wa Dawahu wa Fiyabdani wa Shifahu wa Nurul Basari wa Diyahu. All these salawats were to teach us that everything is coming under these authorities and this is all the ishq and love of Sayyidina Muhammad And now we begin to understand, oh this love is immensely powerful. Can you imagine that on all of this authority you're the only one standing there not celebrating his birthday In the world of souls, imagine how Allah lights up the souls and the entire heavens on the birth of his sultan and you're the only one sitting there and all, all the souls are looking, so what the heck's wrong with you? So I don't know my, my physical body just is not doing it and then you're, you're not lighting up there. It's such an immense, immensely gross understanding that not to appreciate, not to love, not to respect the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad So imagine the shame of those who don't but imagine then the immense blessings of those who do. That's why Allah said, if on this earth they eat one grain of rice from those celebrations because they're blind and they don't see what the heavens and who His authority is and what that authority is, they don't see it. But its immensity when it hits upon the earth, just eating a grain of rice from it, how it's an intercession, a shifa and a blessing, participating and anything in your life is about that reality. That is then the power and the immense blessings in our lives and our whole life is based on that milad. Our whole life is based on tashrif and to celebrate the immense reality of Sayyidina Muhammad upon this dunya. That let the dunya to know the immense reality, let this dunya to know and to hear the praisings because of what? Because of the, the glory that's within the heaven. And Ya Allah knows every nation knows it because those other nations it's in their du'a, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done. Whose kingdom is coming? 
The kingdom of Allah is the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad So we're entering into their holy days but they don't remember the three wise men on the front of their, their places of worship. There are three Naqshbandis on the grass of all of their places of worship that Allah sent as a reminder. Do you see those men in turban? Yeah, they were here to bring praises for the arrival of the, the family of Sayyidina Muhammad because the Sultanate of Allah is the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad So they, they have eyes but they don't see. Don't you go in front of their places and there's three wise men and they're in turbans. They say, oh no these are different turbans, they talk about these are different turbans. They came to greet one of the princes of heavens upon this earth and they'll be here to greet when he comes back again to clarify who he is in relationship to the king of the heavens in which his du'a was taught to them, O my father who art in heaven, your kingdom come and your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad that's coming. All of this reality is the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad to be established upon this earth for the arrival of that authority. The one whom they call the Messiah is a Dajjal and that's not correct. He has nothing to do with the symbols that they put and the food that they eat. This is coming from the realities of the heaven and that reality itself is going to be shocking for them in that. And that's why his maqam is in Medina to Munawwara and buried at the grave and in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah give us a life in which to see those days and to be blessed by those days and to prepare for their arrival and greet for their arrival upon this earth and Allah keep us alive and healthy in which to see those days inshaAllah. Wa rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatihah.